ladies and gentlemen, what I am doing right now is a short video explaining to all of you that what I have done is I have updated the documents. One second. See, the problem is I had voice recognition on and I forgot to turn it off before starting the video. And I don't feel like starting it over. So I'm uploading the latest video. I'll show it to you. And then I'll explain what I'm doing with this video. Eliminating all bogus debt. We show that these forms that are created, I even show part of another form that someone else did in 2014, how it worked for them. And I don't know why individuals have not made this information available to everyone else. Ladies and gentlemen, if something has worked for you, don't make a business out of it. Prove that it worked several times, then make a business out of it. But don't keep the information to yourself. That is just selfishness. Ladies and gentlemen, the video right here, the right to do this and this template, these documents, the link has been updated with the new documents. They include a Jurat and affidavit. I mean, affidavit, Jurat and acknowledgement. I want to let you know that before I saw the other gentleman's document, I was thinking whether or not to add a Jurat. If you go back and listen to the video, you'll see that I said I'm not going to add a Jurat. But after consideration, I figured why not do a Jurat? Why not have it be your request being a valid request or a verified request so that they can verify their response? You follow me? Let's do it as unrebutted because a verified request is just that. Now, do you know that they cannot assess taxes on you unless it's certified by the commissioner? So they have to certify the fact that you owe taxes. Well, that has to be signed by an officer documenting that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Baby Huey. His version of uh, Changes Gonna Come, I kind of like, okay? And I am grateful that he is helping me introduce this video to you guys. We're not going to be going on much longer, but I really will tell you guys, if you really want to get rid of debt, those of you who are operating debt correction or helping people correct their debt, you want to include a letter similar to this with your request. I pretty much think that this letter should go ahead and take care of it because if you go to court, can't nobody sit up there and challenge you. Okay? Why? Because they can't prove that there's an amount owed. Where did you agree to pay them in dollar bills? Dollar bills have no value. Ladies and gentlemen, there must be value and consideration in every contract so you could not have agreed to pay them in Federal Reserve notes because they have no value. Impossible. There must be value and consideration in all contracts. You could not have agreed to pay them in Federal Reserve notes because Federal Reserve notes have no value. You could not have agreed to pay them in Federal Reserve notes because there's value and consideration in every contract. Some of you are going to understand what I'm saying. So if I did agree to pay you, what did I agree to pay you in? Well, excuse me, if I agreed to pay you with something that has no value, then we did not specify it was going to be Federal Reserve notes. Because the United States currency must have value, people. Do y'all not understand? U.S. currency must have value. It cannot have market value. It must have actual value because the government cannot produce anything as money that does not have value. There must be value and consideration in all contracts. The contract with government to produce money is a contract. The currency must have value. Federal Reserve notes have no value. Some of you are going to get what I'm saying. Some of you are going to get what I'm saying. Many of you are not going to get it, and I'm sorry. So, ladies and gentlemen, we got baby Huey in my background. 
And he's letting y'all know, I promise you a change is going to come. Again, the year of the trust. Oh, no, 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 no. The year of the trust? Wait till y'all see the video I'm going to do telling you about the origins of trust and how the year of the trust is 7,000 years long. And we're believing it's going to extend longer than that. Wait and see. All right, got to go. Take care of yourselves, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, baby Huey. Baby Huey, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Got to go. Take care of yourselves, y'all.